Hey, fellas. Uh, first of all, many thanks for all the views and the great feedback on the last year's four video. And today's video is actually about an upgraded version of the last profile that I was sharing with you. Um, I know that some of you had some issues with it. It was not working. And to be honest, uh, I told you all the time, you know, you need to adjust the dead zone. Um, the reason why I was not making another video about it is I was trying the new SCUF controller that they have available for the PC exclusively. Um, I will give a review on that one in a separate video, but you know, as a sneak preview, if you currently have a DualSense 2 uh, PS5 controller, like, like, like that one, stick with it. That's, that's all I'm saying for the moment. Um, but now let's get back to the, to the profile. Um, I was testing it in Modern Warfare 2, uh, Modern Warfare 3, and a little bit in Warzone, okay? Um, but due to the fact that I'm not really having that much time anymore, or better said, at this stage in, 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 of this year, I do not have that much time. Um, it took me a while, you know, to come up with the new profile, to test everything, how I like it, etc., etc. Um, and what I was changing is, I took your feedback as well from everybody. I added a little bit of a dead zone in the emulator. So I put a, on my left stick, I put the 004, and on my right stick, I put the 003 as a dead zone. For you, you might have to adjust it depending on how used your controller is, right? Um, other than this, my max zone is on 099. Uh, once again, you can download the profile in the link description and then just import it via the buttons of profile. I will show it to you if you don't know it. Um, but the biggest thing that I changed are the output curves. So I changed the output curve for, for, for my left stick to quadratic, which means it's slowly in the beginning for my movement stick, but gets faster at the end. And I changed the output curve for my uh, aiming stick to easy out quadratic. Um, what does this mean? So. At the end of the day, because Modern Warfare 3 is such a super fast game compared to Modern Warfare 2, and you really have, you know, to jump left, try right, to understand, okay, where you're going, but you don't want to have your sensitivity like up to 200. <laughs> Just joking, but you know what I mean. Um, I made sure, and okay, this this is now the wrong, this, this, this is now the wrong uh, controller, but you, you get the idea. So what I'm doing is basically, I want to make sure that when I'm moving my right stick a little bit, that it's really adjusting as fast as possible, but it's getting more precise, or better said, more slowlier, the further out I go, okay? Uh, and what does this mean? I explain it to you here now, okay? You have a look with me. I know it's a little bit complicated, but try to stick with me, okay? So this here is literally your uh, configuration that you have, okay? And it's showing you directly what it can and what can't do, okay? Um, for example, you can even add here like custom values, okay? Like uh, five, and here you would like to have a, I don't know, 11 or so. And you can see that the curve is adjusting, okay? Or if you put it here to like this, okay? You see how it will adjust immediately. Um, just to give you an idea how those curves are looking. So normally you have a, li a linear curve, okay? This, this, is, this is what it is. So this means every time when you press your stick, doesn't matter how far out you are or far in you are, um, the input is being always recognized with the same, how to, how to explain it, with the same level of intensity, which means you go to the left and it's always like a linear curve, okay? It doesn't matter if you're at, at the middle of it or at the end of it, it will always be the same speed. Um, by changing, and it's most important on, on the right stick, on the left stick, you can leave it to linear, to be honest, but I did it just for fun. But on the right stick, I put it on easy out quadratic. This, what does this mean at the end of the day? This means that you can see it here, okay? So every time when my input comes on my right stick in the beginning, like in a specific area in the beginning, it's recognized much, much faster then when I'm outside here on the outer, let's call it on the outer rim, okay? <laughs> to, to, to name here uh, uh, Star Wars. So this is what I want to have right now in MW3. I don't know how it will be for Warzone. For Warzone, I might have to change it back. But for the time being, this feels the, the, the most accurate for me. You know, with all this hopping left, right, camera breaking stuff, which is happening, I really want that I'm really snappy as much as possible, you know, going from left to right and make sure that my aim assist is catching all the enemies in my area. This is it. This is the main thing, okay? 
So bear this in mind when you when you when you import the the, the profile, you will have your right stick much much more snappier. Okay, and this is basically it. Um, now let's jump into the game, and I'll show you exactly also my settings in game because there has been a slight change, but quite important if you ask me. So, so guys, when it comes to my in-game settings, I did a huge change. Oh, huge, huge is a little bit overplaying it, but still, it's quite a significant change. First of all, I pushed down my sensitivity to eight eight. And more importantly, I changed the response curve to linear. So I used to use dynamic, and now it feels a little bit better with, with linear. At least this is for me the case at this moment. Uh, I will change it back and forth because, to be honest, I'm playing now mostly zombies, multiplayers here and there. Uh, but in zombies, this is really like doing the best thing. And I, you know, for me, it feels also okay in multiplayer, but I will still also change it back and forth with dynamic and see what's happening. Um, when it comes to the custom sensitivity, which I also have activated, you can see it here. So I have the first two I have on 0.75, uh, the zoom factor of 4 and 5 I have at 0.70, but I will most likely put it down on 0.65 because it feels a little bit too fast. But that's just my personal assumption. Yeah, and the rest, 0, 060, or you can drill it even more down if you would like to. Um, and of course, aim assist type I still have with Black Ops, although I must say um, precision was really good and focusing is also not that bad. So I strongly recommend that you have here as well some, some testing done. Yeah? Um, in case you ever have the feeling that the aim assist is not working, just simply turn it off. Go out of the menu, go back inside, turn it back on. This used to do the trick for me. I felt it a couple of times that aim assist was just literally stopping working and that's how you reactivate it. And that being said, I'm looking really forward for your feedback on this profile and also if you would suggest to change anything. Um, you know, there's always room for improvement. Um, and to everybody who's asking, you know, how to make this no recoil, uh, etc., this is not a Kronos, okay, guys? It's, it's, this is just an emulator to help your computer understand how your uh, input, in this case, your controller, is trying to communicate with the PC. Yeah, so it's just helping it. Um, so it's nothing illegal. I know. There are some geeks outside there, you know, who made no recall scripts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but please have a look at them. Um, I'm not at the stage that I, I'm confident to say this is super safe. That being said, have a great day.